Grace versus legalism. You must be born again. This is a short um, illustration that I hope will help you uh, to understand the difference between grace and legalism. So when we were born, we were all born into this condition of sin. We were born in iniquity and uh, came to this world speaking lies. And uh, one thing that human beings do is we tend to think that we can work uh, real hard and uh, be good enough to go to heaven and be with Jesus. And we think, you know, sometimes if we go to church or if if we are real nice to people and give to people or if we're real generous or something that we can work our way into heaven. And that is really legalism. Legalism is trying to go in on your own coattails, on your own achievements and works. But that's a lie. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And, uh, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. So we can't do anything uh, by any law. We can't work our way into heaven. So you might say, oh, faith, I've got that. I don't need any works then. This must be what's called grace. And that's a lie too. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. And if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. Oh, you mean I've got to pass from death unto life? For whosoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? You might say, I thought I had faith. And then you might say, Lord, I believe. Help thou mine unbelief. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Notice in the illustration there, the faith coming into the person. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And you, when that faith comes into your heart, like in the illustration, will say, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Glory to God. I've been born again. God's word is true. This is grace. I didn't deserve it, but God did it anyhow. And now I love God and work for him with all of my heart. My life is not mine own. I'm a new creature in Christ. I can't stand sin anymore. Amen. And when the sinner looks at that born again believer, he says, look at all those works. You must be a legalist. I'm the true believer. Look at me. I'm drowning in sin, but yet I believe God, which means I'm saved. You're just a hypocrite. That's what the sinner says. But this is very important because it's life or death. And so we need to understand grace versus legalism and what it is. Works. So the truth is both grace and legalism both have works. Legalism is simply the unbeliever trying to live like the believer without believing. In other words, a make-believer or hypocrite. I hope you can see this. So works. Believers have works or they're not believers. We already saw the scripture. 
Uh, but unbelievers might or might not have works. It doesn't matter. But believers do have works. Now, the believer has the works, the hypocrite has works, and the unbeliever has no works. He just doesn't believe anything. So works. You must be born again. It doesn't matter whether you have or don't have works, you could still be lost. So life. You're not going to get there. You're not going to pass from death to life. You're not going to get there by your works. It'll be a work of grace. Nothing to do with works. And when you get there, you will do the works of God. Amen. And that really, uh, you could put the cart before the horse and put works before grace, but it's not going to do you any good. You've got to have grace and pass from death unto life, and then the works are automatically there because you've been born again and you're a new creature. They're automatically there. So I hope this helps you, and I pray that God will reveal it to you. In Jesus' name, amen.